Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the second order differential equation. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve the Cauchy-Euler equations. The last lecture was on the theory behind the Cauchy-Euler equations. So today we will discuss the examples behind that. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Gar, for finding the various videos on this differential equation. As we discussed in our previous lecture, any of the equation of this form is called as the Cauchy-Euler. But uh, I will tell you very simple rule about that. Like if you if you see any of the equation is of this form. Like if it is a second derivative, the term must be of the x square. If it is of third derivative, then the corresponding coefficient will be x cube. Like of this plus x. If it is a first derivative, the coefficient must be of the x. If there is no derivative, then there will be no. So this is the equation called as the Cauchy-Euler equation. Similarly, if you look at this, this is the f four x y dash y dash. So it's power one. And here, this is again the Cauchy-Euler equation. Any equation of this form is called as the Cauchy-Euler equation, where this whatever this are, this are one, this are one, this are one four. These are my constants. On the other hand, instead of this, if my equations will be like of here, like of this, you can see. If equation is of like that is a one. If the second derivative, the power of the coefficient is two. Is the first derivative the same term? There is a one plus x, one plus x. Make sure this is. If I write simply here, is equal to zero. For example, but here this is a one plus x, so it this term must be of the one plus x. Then only you can say it is a Lysander equation or the Cauchy-Euler equation. So uh, we will try to solve these sixteen examples in this lecture. So before that, we will firstly check which of the following is a Cauchy-Euler or which of the following is the Lysander equation. So let's say quickly firstly check if it is x square, it's a y double dash. It's x square. Yes, this is a Cauchy-Euler equation. It's a y double dash x square y dash x. This is a Cauchy-Euler. This is also a Cauchy-Euler. That's fine. x square y double dash and this is also the cauchy euler this is not the cauchy euler why because if it is a uh, y double dash it must be of the x square it is a y dash it must be of the x so it is not a cauchy euler but can you make them to be the cauchy euler yes if you multiply this equation by x square what will happen this is the x square y double dash plus x y dash 0 into x square is x square now clearly say that again this is my cauchy euler It is a one plus two x square, so it's a second derivative. One plus two x first derivative, so it's a Lysander equation that is of this nature. Similarly, of this, this is my Lysander equation. This is my Cauchy equations, and then so on. So you can clearly see that. Look at this. Is this a Cauchy equation? No. You have to multiply this by x because it's x cube. Here x square. Then you, it's a Cauchy Euler equation. So once you can identify that, then we can solve this Cauchy-Euler equation. The solution is very easy. We can solve that. So what is the objective? Is whenever there is of this nature Cauchy-Euler or Lysander equation, our target is to transform to them to the constant coefficients. Once we are making to the constant coefficient, then we can define the auxiliary equations like of this natures, and we can find the values of the m r here. How you can make the transformation? We can take the transformation as x is e raised to power z. So, for example, here, so very simple. Uh, this is a Cauchy-Euler. If I st start from this one, what is that? This is the Cauchy-Euler equation. So, we take the transformation always x is e raised to power z, and z is log x. So, once you will take this transformation, then you have to simply replace this is the first derivative. You have to replace this as a dy. If you take Y double dash. It's a second derivative. You have to write d d minus one y. If it is of the x cube of third derivative, then you can write this as d minus one d minus two of y. Make sure this is a capital D is now in the in terms of the z what we have introduced here. If you ask them why, how we can return that? That's a very simple. If you want to write d y by d x. So I can return this term as of this nature. What is the d z by d x from here? It is nothing but my one by x. Fine. So if I cross multiply them, so it's a x y dash is d over d z y. So I call this term as a capital D y. Similarly, you can define as a here. You will you will get as d d minus one of y. Now we can substitute this value. 
at here now you can simplify this d square you can open this you will get here but uh, i will tell you the one shortcut trick also you so that you may remember that whether this equation whatever you drive is correct or not whenever there is a cauchy euler equation of this nature p x y dash plus k y is equal to 0 then this is you can write directly this as a d square plus p minus a d plus k u is equal to 0 always always are there you can simply learn this trick so if look at that if you compare them a is my 1 p is my 5 k u is my 1 if you compare them with here so if you substitute here what will happen this is my capital d square p minus a it's a 4d k u will be my 1 you can see this is the same you can check it always now clearly say that this is my constant coefficients once is a constant coefficient you can write the auxiliary equation here can you find the root of this you can simplify this root as my here you will get the root as here. clearly say that these roots are my real so once is a real you can write here remember this is my z because the derivative is in terms of the z you can write in terms of the x So what is the value of the z is? This is my log x. So how you write that? This is nothing but my here is the right answer. Otherwise, you can simply write this term as if if you get the root as say three and four, for example, then you can write directly as this is c one polynomial x cube c two x raised to power four. But if you want to write in terms of the z, then you have to write like of here. Look at the another examples. Is this Cauchy Euler? Yes. Is this Cauchy Euler? No. But you firstly make them multiply with the x on the both side. So this is here. I can replace this one x y dash and here substitute this value. If I use this simple shortcut tricks here, p minus a capital D plus q y. So what is that? It will give you a is my one, p is my two. 2 minus 1 is 1. Q is my minus of 12, so it will be my d square plus of here. So we can see here. This is the value of the d into d minus 1. Y taken as a common. It's a constant coefficient. You can write in terms of the m. You can get the value of the m as 4 and 3. So you can write in terms of the z is my here. You can x replace e raised to power z as a x. So it can be written like of here. otherwise you can simplify always this is nothing but c1 x raised to power minus 4 c2 x raised to power cube you can see the same answers are here where c1 and c2 are constant look for this one this is not a cauchy euler equation because cauchy euler it should be of this form so it is x square but it is not be there so you have to multiply this by x square now is a cauchy euler you can take x is equal to e raised to power z you can replace this value and this value with the help of here and this substitute this value at here so this will be my d into d minus 1 plus of d again if you apply this rule you can see again what is the a what is the p and what is my q of this so clearly say that a is my 1 from here p is my 1 q is my 0 so see here this is a is 1 p minus a is 0 Plus q is zero, so only the d square. So see, these are the zero. These are the real and equal roots. That's the repetition. So we can write here as c1 plus c2 z because now in terms of the z. So I can substitute the value of the z as a log x in this case. Now you can see here this is my Lysander equation. So again the rule are similar here. Instead of the instead of taking x is e raised to power z. i can consider 1 plus 2x is e raised to power j rest of the task is similar now your target is to find the value of this your target is to find the value of this again this is a first derivative you can written as a d of y this is a second derivative you can write in as of here but the only difference is the power is y1 so the coefficient of the x is my 2 power 1 coefficient of the x is my 2 power of 2 the only difference is my here this of 2 square because of coefficient of the x and the power 2 if you want to write 
of this form what is the meaning of that is a 2 raised to power 3 and there are my this term now you can substitute this value here you will get this number is my here 6 times this number is my this and so on you can simplify we will get here expression now again it's a constant coefficient you can find the roots are there which is real and equal you can write in terms of this case substitute the value of z as a log x here is my x clear this is the required solution again this is my Lysander equation so you have to take 2x plus 3 is e raised to power z and z will be my here so what will be my 2x plus 3 y dash 2x plus 3 square y double dash so it will be 2 raised to power 2 and d of d minus 1 it is 2 raised to power 1 of dy fine now substitute this value at here you will get this expression remember this is a 2 because of this and this of 2d because of this y as a common now you can simplify this this is 4d square minus 4d minus of 4d minus of 12 so which is written as here you can write this is a constant coefficient you can write the roots as of this so y will be my e raised to power 3z c2 e raised to power 1z i can written as z is my log of 2x plus 3 sorry here is wrong this is a log of 1 plus 2x so it is my c1 plus c2 log of 1 plus 2x and e raised to power z is my 1 plus 2x whole scale that's the right answer of this so again this is uh, wrong so what is that c1 e raised to power 3z so it will be my 2x plus 3 of cube plus c2 2x plus 3 raised to power minus 1 is the right answer okay look at this one this is a cauchy euler equation x square x and here this is the cauchy -Eiler. remember i again ask you is this a cauchy euler equation plus x y is equal to 0 no because of this x is not be the y dash similarly if you consider here is this the cauchy euler no because x is not be present anyhow so this is my here you can take this one is simplify you can substitute here you will get this expression again you can verify this as in this example a is my 1 p is my minus 4 q is my 6 so this is a d square p minus a minus 5 and so on you can find the roots as 2 and 3 which can be written in the form of as here similarly for this side that's a very easy you can take this case substitute this value you will get this end these are constant coefficient you can find the roots as here now it's a complex number you have to written as in terms of the z so c1 cos of 1z plus c2 of 1z now i can substitute the value of the z as log x so e of z is my x z is my log x here is my here c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants again this is the cauchy euler this is again a cauchy euler because of the x cube so let's start firstly here this is the cauchy euler this is x is e raised to power z so now your target is to find the value of this your target is to find the value of this and of here how you write that last part is because of the cube you have to write in the three times and this is the one time and this is the two time now substitute each values at here you will get this this and this. once you will open this bracket you will solve and you get here this is a constant coefficient you can write here how you how you find the root of this so it will be minus 8 raised to power 1 by 3 so if you know this is a minus of 2 minus of 2 omega minus of 2 omega square where omega is the cube root of unity on the other hand how you can solve that if you know that uh, minus of 2 clearly says that m is equal to minus 2 is the root of the equation so it means m plus 2 is a factor so what is the remaining part so it means you have to divide this by m plus 2 but that is a very lengthy procedure so i will tell you the shortcut tricks for you how you can divide them you can simply write here this is the highest degree is m cube write m square 
m constant what is the coefficient of the m cube is 1 m square is 0 0 8 what is the root of this is minus of 2 you can simply write as a minus 2 here then the first term you can return as as such multiply minus 2 with the 1 it's a minus of 2 simplify it's a minus of 2 minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4 0 plus 4 is 4 0 is minus so this last part is a cancel out so now this becomes the constant this becomes my m this is my m square so it means if you divide m q plus 8 by m plus 2 the quotient will be 1 m square minus of 2m plus 4 and this 0 is my remainder so it means this part will be m square minus 2m plus 4 is there that's a very simple method to the division here now you can simplify this m is my minus of 2 from here you can simplify this as of here 4 minus 16 over 2 so you can solve them you will get as of here so this is the complex number this is the real root so the corresponding the first part you can return as here corresponding the second part it is minus 1 of z c1 cos of root 3z c2 sin of root 3z is there. you can substitute the value of the z as a log x in here okay look about this one again it's a Cauchy equation so you can take x is e raised to power z and you can get as of this substitute the value here you will see here again you can verify that this is a of same nature at ev every time you can verify it so that there is a less mistake a is my 1 p is my minus of 2 q is my plus of 4 you can see that now it's a constant coefficient you can find the roots as 1 and 3 so the roots are my here which is x and the x q look at these last two examples are there now this is a 1 plus x so it's a Lysander equation so what you can do is you have to take this is my z because it's a 1 plus x square second derivative 1 plus x 1 first derivative and here so we can start from here now what is the value of the 1 plus x y dash 1 plus x sorry 1 plus x whole square y double dash so coefficient of the x is 1 so 1 square d of d minus 1 y coefficient of the x is 1 so 1 raised to power 1 of d y here 1 1 square substitute this value at here you will get of this nature so what is the auxiliary equation is plus minus iota so once the plus minus iota you can return as of alpha is my 0 alpha plus minus of this is a 0 so, and z what is the value of the z is log of 1 plus x it's a Cauchy Euler equation already so you can uh, solve this one it's a very simple part here you can factor them you will get here which are the real roots so once it's a real root you can simplify this as of this nature substitute the value of the z as log x you will get the same answer as here so i hope you can simply learn the concepts from these several examples you can see we have covered many examples in this case for example here this is the example corresponding to 8 this is the example corresponding to my 10 and many more are this is already we cover rest of the examples which are not covered in here you can try to solve this one i hope i have covered the more than 12 examples in here for more details we can see some another lectures are there otherwise we will see the next lecture on the method of the undetermined coefficients for the particular integral you can find my previous lectures of the cauchy euler equations here solution of this and the method of the undetermined variation of parameter all in the playlist mathematics 2 channel name dr harish gar I hope you can like, share and comment this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.